design as learning and learning as design is um, kind of understand how that um, things that surround us inform us they tell us something, how the world is constructed. So an object, a table, a chair, all these objects are in fact uh, communicating something. So you can learn from that. It informs us and also designing itself, uh, like making and thinking and talking with different people, uh, with different specialists uh, around a certain topic, is uh, like a very informative and uh, almost pedagogical methodology to create uh, something. And sometimes you still can see that in the object. And I really believe that the, the world is evolving and how that knowledge and information in this uh, society is evolving. Objects and uh, designing itself and making that society is a kind of pedagogical attitude almost. Yeah, what we wanted to say with the School of Schools is that there is not one way of looking to the things and the objects that surround us and not one way of understanding design and how design is informing us. We believe in a kind of more web, in a network of ideas, associations, uh, understandings of reality. And therefore, uh, the different venues are like a, a web, uh, a network, of ideas uh, that are visualized and designed uh, for this biennial. The topics itself are more like uh, bringing certain things that are related to each other, like uh, food and metabolism and digestion and uh, working with waste of these materials to build something in one venue together. So it's like um, a body of work, you could say, for every venue and they all relate to each other. You could say this school that is related to uh, food is maybe the digestion school. From Akbank, uh, Aksanat, you go to Yepikredi, where the current school is. And it's a school where we bring together a group of designers that are in many ways uh, related in the accumulation of knowledge, uh, like every time a flow or occurrence is going in throughout the system, the knowledge and the information accumulates, a little bit like a blockchain, you could say. It's maybe the blockchain school. But it's more like uh, how things and objects travel throughout the world, like for instance the Silk Route, how they each time they transform from the place where they arrive and how they are adapted by the people that in the city where the objects arrive and how these objects uh, are redesigned uh, and go to another place and finally arrive in Istanbul. So they travel in this case from Shenzhen to Istanbul. But it can also be a school uh, of uh, uh, fugu fish, uh, a fish uh, which is an invasive species and that came here by the changing of the climate and suddenly the fugu fish that is only like in Japan is also uh, here in Istanbul. And what can we learn from that fish? How, what can we learn from that culture that around that fish which is a kind of uh, speciality in Japan but here's seen as a dangerous uh, fish that you cannot eat. So how can cultures and objects that travel and change uh, throughout the world, how they can change our lives? And then we travel further throughout the city to uh, the Earth School, Achter. And in that uh, school, uh, everything that is related, uh, you could say, how that Earth at this moment, in these times of uh, the Anthropocene, a kind of uh, misused word, uh, the Earth is changing, and how with all the disasters that are around us, how can we, through design, create like new hope, uh, new situations? And what can we learn from an earthquake, for instance? What can we learn from the earthquake of 1999? And what can we learn from an earthquake that still has to come and how can we speculate about it? And how can universities and faculties together with scientists work together to develop maybe a possible way out? We can go to a school where uh, time, time and attention in these times of acceleration, in fact, uh, where uh, and this overabundant uh, amount of um, information is uh, with all the technology that is surrounding us is um, disconnecting us uh, from time itself, from biorhythm 
to having less sleep because we still have to have that last message or to read something on social media. How these technologies are informing us and how they are designing our everyday life. And there again, we, we try to, to understand how it's working and artists are questioning, uh, uh, artists and designers are questioning how did we deal with time. In Para Museum, uh, there is the Norm School and it's a, a place where Para Museum itself has a, an amazing collection of objects that are dealing with uh, weights and measures and how that throughout history, uh, more than 80,000 objects I believe, are collected in such a way they are all dealing how that we measured uh, the, the earth, uh, how that we weighted uh, and balanced uh, objects and how we traded them and we exchanged them. And in fact, uh, norm, uh, normalization, standardization uh, is something that is like uh, regulating our everyday life. Uh, and that goes from a DIN A4 paper to uh, the traffic uh, uh, rules that are designed in order to make us behave in a certain way. And it's these kind of things, these norms, that are questioned and redesigned in, uh, in Para Museum. So how can design design our life? How do we move in a city? How do we uh, exchange values? Uh, that uh, is something we can learn and uh, can be inspired by in Para Museum. I think uh, you see that uh, design is um, a quite young profession. Eh? It's only like uh, 130, 140 years old. You could ask yourself if uh, the education that is like invented 99 years ago with the Bauhaus, if that not should be re-evaluated. So the world is changing mainly through uh, uh, technology, but also through the economical system, which is also changing rapidly. And uh, how should design education itself respond to that new reality? And these are like uh, questions that we have. You could say that uh, the scope of design itself uh, changed uh, throughout this, all these uh, changes in the, in the world. Uh, it's not only design is not only giving solutions anymore. Design is there to speculate. Design is there to make new relations, to, uh, to answer to social issues, and is also there to maybe uh, be critical and political even. So design is, and the expanded field of design is getting bigger, and it should, could also inform the traditional forms uh, of just like uh, making uh, products that solve issues and problems and could change uh, this, um, let's say, traditional approaches. Uh, and I believe that uh, a design biennial is a place where we can negotiate uh, the changes in design education itself. And we can look if uh, some new opportunities can come out, new possibilities. Uh, it's a testing ground, it's a laboratory uh, and so on.